If you're clicking on the purple support video today, that means that you're working on our first challenge, one simple question. Ideally, last week you went through the lesson with us in class or independently on your own. Um, and you had a, a sense of why we we're doing this particular challenge. What I'm going to do now, um, assuming that you've engaged in that lesson material, I'm going to go down to the challenge. As you take a look, the, they were broken down into five separate steps. Um, many of these steps were already completed prior to coming into this workshop week. So I'm going to kind of um, scoot on down to steps four and five. Um, step four is really taking the answers that you would have collected from listening to other people answer your question. I, I hope to kind of add a pause here for a second in terms of who you asked your question to, that we're looking at different perspectives and um, somebody beyond your comfort zone. I hope that you've had an opportunity to really push yourself to ask people um, even though you may you may know them, um, they they might they might provide different answers than your own small peer circle. Um, I know for many of you, you've reached out to me or other teachers, which um, may have provided different perspectives for you. I have to wonder what other perspectives could be collected um, given the nature of your question. So today might be a good day of also asking your question to other people so that you can kind of build that bigger idea of your perspectives. Um, step four really talks about collecting your answers um, and really thinking about your answers in general, like what are the big themes that you discovered in your investigation? What other questions do you have as a result of this experience? So you had this one question, what did other people's responses um, promote you into having other questions? Uh, what are those questions? And then how might these different perspectives change your view on this focus? So maybe you already had an answer going into your one question, but maybe the different answers that you collected made you change your mind in some way. Um, that's definitely worth noting in your construction. Step five really talks about the construction of your learning. And so step four is kind of piling that all together alongside answering these questions. Step five is making that into something so that other people can see it. I'm not gonna elaborate too much on step five because I've already created a support video for that, um, which I do encourage you to click on that today. Um, your actual post is going to have two things on it on your blog post for your challenge work. Um, the first um, will be your constructed piece. So if you click on the support video, I actually highlight the use of a poster or what might be considered an infographic. Um, and then the other piece to your blog post will then be answering these three questions. So if you had an opportunity to look at the pink support video today, you might have seen how I took reflection questions and I bolded them and then I answered them, and then I bolded the next one, and then I answered it. Um, and then I would have clicked on this Add Media button to insert my um, infographic or my poster or whatever I'm using to, to demonstrate my learning. If you would have done um, some sort of talk through video, um, however you construct the answers to step four is totally up to you. I provided some maybe easier ways to be able to do that um, using Canva. And I'll just point to Canva here for a second. Okay, Canva. I'm not going to go into this too much because my step five support video really does. But Canva is a really easy way to be able to create something that demonstrates all that thinking that you have to do for step four. Okay. Um, additionally, if this add media button doesn't work, you can always link your Canva to your post like you would uh, a Google Doc. Okay, that's your support video for today. Feel free to ask for feedback from your peers, from the, the adult that's in the room um, to kind of help push your thinking forward. And as always, I'm, I'm available if you need me. Thanks.